Hello and welcome back to the Gaming Guild. Alex here with more Seven Days to Die. Uh, yesterday we left off uh, in the middle of this mission. Still haven't finished clearing uh, the ground floor. Let's keep up with that. Flashlight. I just realized uh, now, um, but that chest next to the trader, I dropped a mining helmet, and I completely forgot that mining helmets have the uh, head flashlight mod. Kind of pre-built into them. And then I can just uh, take the mod off of it. And put it on my regular, uh, you know, head armor that I'm wearing. Cooking magazine. But I didn't want that gate open. It opened that gate too. Right. Here's where things are going to get bad. Oh, generator. We're going to get lighter. So, from experience, zombies are going to drop down to this room as soon as I go into it.
Okay, that's all of them. Pick it up. Don't need the coffee. Ooh. Um, okay. Let's just scrap that. Scrap the treasure map. I'm not going to have time to go find whatever it is. Um already put one of these on. Right. Now we're going to have to sit through this because I don't have any lockpicks. And I can't make them yet. I haven't read enough forge, uh, forge ahead books. Ooh, we have an airdrop today. Looks like that's east of me, which is good. That means it's over next to the trader or even close to my house. Digest, low quality pipe machine gun. Um, yeah, grab that. I already have the iron breaker mod, so let's scrap that. Scrap that. Do we have any pipes already? I'm gonna take that, but I don't think I have any pipes for this to condense down into. Yep, let's scrap those. I'll just take that. The armor will just scrap into raw iron. Alright, let's get out of here. Hey, Tommy and I would use that house when we played on this map before. I know I have quite a bit of parkour, but not enough to really jump out of this whole place. I don't know where you came from. Because, uh, if I have all the parkour levels, um, even if I take damage, I can't really break my leg anymore from falling, I believe. I don't think they changed that. Uh, but if I don't have it maxed out, um, you know, taking any kind of damage from a fall has a pretty good chance of, you know, at least spraining, if not breaking my leg in the process. And that just would not be good. A break I can fix... Uh, with a splint or cast, but the sprain would stay for quite a while, and a sprain actually gets worse if I sprint or, you know, accelerate on the bike. Like, 
like the sprain would never turn into a break. I think I'm more prone to breaking it if I get into more combat. But the you know sp overall sprain would uh, lessen my maximum hit points. And then if I'm doing stuff, you know, sprinting or accelerating on the bike, I'd actually make the time it takes to heal go up. So really not good to have a sprain. It must be my lucky day. Right, so you. back out. And here you go. Sell, sell. Let me sell those. So don't need the box parts. Steel armor. Great. Here you go, friend. Whatever uh, let's you grab. Need, just say the word. More seven six two ammo. Don't really need the rest. Uh, infested clear cell east of us that's down in the burnt area but it looks like our really best bet some help, at crips okay brilliant i think that's like a club or something his friends now uh new stock maybe oh uh yeah technically better pistol there's still nothing i want to Bye. Come back tomorrow. We get new goods daily. What we're going to do is set the bike here. Grab all that. And then storage. I'm just going to store some stuff that I don't think I'm going to get more of on this trip. And while I'm thinking about it, modify this. Pull that off. Pocketed boots. Ah. Um, don't want that on anymore. Because the headlamp's going to work a lot better for me than night vision goggles. Let's head back to the house, get some uh, food and water, and then we'll head down to Crypt. Or I'll deal with the horde first. He just fell. Sweet home. Dead deer still there. I'm 
gonna have to drop stuff and then empty that out. There's that. Goggles, I don't really want to just give away yet. juice. Take a red tea with me. Eat that. Bring some lamb rations with me. Anything else I want to plant? Um, plant another coffee seed, aloe vera seed, a couple hop seeds, regular corn, and then let's do some blueberries. Other than blueberry pie, I don't even know what I could make with blueberries. Um, I'm hoping that in the next big update, there'll be a little bit more with uh, some food variety. I'll just have to see. Because I think we're getting pretty good on ingredients. Uh, fish would be cool to see as something that you could get. Uh, but just having more options of things to cook, especially at lower levels with more ingredients available. Um, yeah, just a thought. My main reason for not using the night vision goggles anymore, uh, well, I, I th actually, the main reason is uh, it looks horrible. I mean, that you know, green for everything really makes it hard to see zombies. Um, you know, it's only really handy if it's pitch black, and even then, um, the visibility isn't great with it. Uh, but zombies don't seem to react to my flashlight being on. Um, I'm not sure why. Um, it might just be something uh, they haven't worked on yet. The Crisp Residence. This is kind of a cool place. Kind of reminds me of 
uh, my house in the other game. And... Okay, I know this location. I know you're gonna run up behind me if I let you live. Yeah, I've never seen this in the burnt area, um, but Kylie and I used this as a base one time in one of our games. Uh, there's a huge underground section to this. That'll be interesting. Big guy. Okay, there's somebody over there. Hear my gun shot. Come on, where are you? Anybody else want to come say hi? Jeez Louise. Alright, so let's eat some food. Because that will help a little bit with the health. Not much. that much lift to it. Jeez. I'm trying to do this mission at night was probably a mistake as well. There's nothing in here. So, oh, never mind, there are things in here. Is that an irradiated 
zombie that I can't seem to hit. Seems like it. Some nerdy glasses. I was not expecting to see both an irradiated zombie and one of those big guys. I don't even know what those ones are called. If you thought this whole place was bad, it gets even worse down here. This place is pretty big. That was very fortunate. I mean, yeah, I guess it isn't infested. So it kind of makes sense that there's extra zombies everywhere. First headshot is just so important with these. It looks like a spider. That's not good. Um, and that was an interesting glitch.
Now we're just going to go to whenever this uh, mission is done. I'll turn the mission in on the next episode. Uh, but I'm going to... This is the last one I'm going to record today. I don't... Uh, really can't stop it in the middle of a mission. Looks like just one spot left. Another cool upgrade I just thought for this game, the addition of bone arrows. Um, instead of using rocks, you could use bones for the tip. Um, and then you could provide like bleed damage. that last one there. What else do I have? This guy sucks. is done. Just I got a little bit of ammo out of it. That save of this leather trunk. Uh, motion detection devices will not recognize you for three seconds. I don't believe zombies use those kinds of devices, but and I add the spikes, not spikes and chains. Uh, hits lowers enemies' armor rating by twenty percent to knock down. I'm gonna stick with the knocking down. Let's repair that. Now that was my only repair kit that I had on me, but necessary. Good morning. I'm able to breathe a little bit easier now. And this will only take me a second. Baseball bat. All right. Well, that looks like everything. Yeah. Let's get out of here. This place sucks. Um,
Let me see. I wouldn't be surprised if there's some zombies out here wanting to eat me. Would have been nice if they dropped a loot bag, but well, well, that's gonna do it. Um, sorry it went so long, but uh, that was kind of a tricky situation there. So, uh, hope you all had fun. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next adventure. Bye bye.